life after death, what does the Bible say? God created man from the dust of the ground, but this was only a body. And then God breathed the breath of life into him, and man became a living soul. Therefore, there are two parts to a human being, physical body, and the soul that lives in the body. The scriptures tells us this in the book of Genesis. Genesis 2, 7, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. We know that the body does not live forever. Everyone will die sooner or later. However, it is only the body that dies, not the soul. Well, what happens to the body after a person dies? Again, we turn to the scriptures in the book of Genesis. In the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. So scripture tells us that when we die, the body returns to the earth. But what about the soul? The soul of a believer in Jesus Christ goes immediately to be with Jesus in paradise. How do we know this? Let's look again at the scriptures for the answer. In the book of Luke, it tells us about the two thieves hanging on the cross, one on each side of Jesus. One thief rebuked Jesus. But listen to what the other one said and the response of Jesus. Then one thief said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. There's several things to notice here. First, Jesus said, assuredly. That means without doubt, this statement is true and will happen. Second, Jesus said, today. That means that as soon as the thief dies, his soul will be in paradise. Jesus also said, with me, meaning that he and Jesus would be together after death in paradise. Finally, Jesus named the place where they, the believing thief would go, and he was paradise. So now we know that the souls of those who believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior will, after death, meet Jesus in a place called paradise. What is paradise? Is it heaven? Eh, yeah, it's heaven, but it's not the final resting place in heaven. We still must go before the great white throne at the end of time, and he will take all the believers to the final heaven to live there for eternity. So what happens to the souls of those that are not believers in Jesus Christ when they die? One of the best scriptures for this is the story that Jesus told his disciples about Lazarus, the beggar, he was a believer, and the rich man, was not a believer. Jesus said that Lazarus died and his soul went to paradise, but the rich man died and his soul went to Hades. Listen to part of the rich man's conversation when he realized that he was in Hades and in torment. In Hades, where he, the rich man, was in torment, he looked up and he saw Abraham far away in paradise with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this fire. Abraham replied, between us and you, a great chasm has been set in place so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. 
The rich man answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my family, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. If someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. But Lazarus said to him, I'm sorry, Abraham said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. Is Hades hell? Yes, but not the final hell, just like paradise is not the final heaven. For all must appear before the great white throne, both believers and non-believers at the end of time. Those whose names were found written in the book of life, believers, will not be judged, but pass on into a heaven for eternity. But for those whose names were not found in the book of life, they were judged out of the other books containing their works. Their works were not sufficient to save them, so they were cast into the burning lake of fire, along with Satan and his fallen angels, to be tormented in eternity. Revelation said, And I saw the dead, unbelievers, small and great, standing before God, and the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. But the dead were judged according to their works by the things which are written in the books. Jesus said, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You must choose while you are still living on earth if you will accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and have eternal life in heaven or choose not to accept Jesus Christ and be cast into hell like the rich man and be tormented in hell for eternity. It is your choice. No one can choose for you. No one can force you. Now, find a Christian friend and ask them to lead you in your next steps. If you have questions or would like more information, send me an email to wally at bibletextaol.com. Or if you found this information to be useful, I would love to hear from you. Life after death. What next? Your choice. God bless you. Have a good week.